So Sunnyvale is exploring a move to district elections to address the California Voting Rights Act. The California Voting Rights Act was passed in 2002 and it prohibits voting practices that uh, dilute the votes of racial minorities. We've been asked by the city of Sunnyvale to bring all of you together and other members of the Sunnyvale community to talk about possible changes to the city of Sunnyvale election system. So why should the city consider changing its electoral system? Well, the city has what's called an at-large voting system, and at-large voting systems across the state are now subject to litigation under the California Voting Rights Act. The California Voting Rights Act states that if you have an at-large system, and if you have a city council that is predominantly white in a city that has a diversity of ethnicities, then it can be presumed that there is a problem within that voting system and that there's this, what's called the safe harbor to change is to change to district elections. There are several cities that have um, faced legal uh, challenges and to date no city has prevailed. And so it's much to the advantage of the city to be involved in the process, work with potential plaintiffs who might want to file a lawsuit and move constructively through the process so that the city maintains control of the process. In Sunnyvale we are trying to be proactive and that's why we're doing this okay. community outreach. So the city council is um, engaged now in a two-part process and we're at the very beginning of the first of those two phases. We'll be having all, uh, 13 separate meetings and workshops to seek input about the potential remedies and about the timing of the next election and what the system should look like once the system is in place. Things like whether the mayor should be directly elected by the electorate or if the mayor should come from members of the council, um, what the boundaries of the district should be, what are the communities of interest in Sunnyvale, all of those issues will be considered through this first phase up until June. In June or July of this year, we anticipate a council meeting to make a formal decision about exactly how to proceed. Um, it will likely include a vote of the people because the current council system is memorialized in the city's charter. One of the things I'd like to ask all of you is that you go out and tell people about this and let others know as our meetings ramp up in um, March and April to really help us get the word out and get even more people to come to these meetings.